Hey guys, what's up? Rajit here from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. So guys, in this tutorial, I'll show you about Planet Tracker and by using that, you can do lots of things for paint prep workflow. Guys, this is Nuke Fundamentals episode number 3. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So guys, right now we're in Nuke version 11.3, the most interesting version, the most stable version as well. Okay, uh, so in this video, I'll trying to remove this kind of markers. So first of all, let's come with this, that uh, how you can remove this kind of things by using simple planet tracker. So let's get started. So first of all, as you can see, I have two inputs. So let's start with this one. So press Ctrl C and then Ctrl V. And now disable this two so that it will not be buffered and just press one and like that so now i have my input here so let's play it so it's the frame range is 1 to 86 but i change it to around let's say 150 so this is my basic frame range and uh, if you notice the end frame range the this image will be uh, clearly visible like this see this is my end frame range which will be clearly visible okay so after that we have to take a planet tracker like this and guys those who don't know about planet tracker in detail tutorial i already have in my channel but this time i'll brief you that how you can add or you can remove anything inside of planet tracker okay so in this tutorial uh, in this planet tracker uh, i have lots of tools here so these are the tools like play forward play backward stop transform scale rotation and perspective and all and after that there is coming like display planet surface and all and this is like a correct plane position and this is the grid option these other options like surface areas uh, reference frame and this is the export option so okay these are the tools are there so i will come one by one so first of all let's take a shape around this so let's take a rectangle shape simple like this and just adjust your shape and now see when this kind of distortion will happen just select all this press shift and z so it will be cut to cut like this and after that make shapes a little more precise do not use as much uh, the unnecessary areas so the track may be get hampered okay so it's maybe like this after that when you're happy with your shapes position simply play okay so when it will uh, done the track it will take some time around three to five minutes i will get back to you guys so guys the track is completely done and you can see the tracks are really amazing it's tracked really well okay so let me tell you that how you can do the rest of the part so first of all you have to choose your reference frame so in my case i'm taking the last frame as my reference frame because this area is completely flat in fact it's very near to the camera so what i'll do i'll click here to this option it's called set current frame to the reference frame and what happened so this frame will be your reference frame for the cleanup purpose and all so just click this area it will take some time so do not click any other parts when you click this option okay so after that what you have to do the reference frame is right now created and now from here you have to choose these many options so these are three options from this to this this will be linked to this roto print node so whatever you will change here it will automatically being updated but i prefer to make it baked so that it will not be connected with this for in this case i am using corner paint 2d relative baked option just click here so it will come like this so let it be like here i will not need this right now so i have to paint this out area so just close this and after that what you have to do you have to take a frame hold by pressing tab take a frame hold like this and then connect with this and let's arrange your uh, node areas very clean so now take it like 150 this is your reference frame connect with this after that take a roto paint node by pressing p you can take a roto paint node and simply start painting now for this kind of thing i am not using uh, this clone stamp tool because it's a very solid color so that's why i'm taking simple brush tool just make it increase it and hardness zero sorry zero and after that by pressing click here control and click now you can simply paint these areas like this okay but simply like yellow colors and all don't paint unwanted areas so that it can be destroy your final output click here again and simply start painting for this options like this after that if you see any kind of hard edges will be visible here simply go opacity down increase your shape and slightly paint throughout so that it will blend properly now i have painted out all these areas very clearly now you have to paste this kind of plate to that so first of all you have to mask out this kind of areas so by pressing o to take a roto node and from here let's take this rectangle tool again and start make it like this after that 
first of all disable this roto paint node so that you can see how many areas will be affected shift z to make it sharp and make your shapes to be precise like this and after that select all control and click to make some feathers like this so that there is no uh, such uh, sharp edges will be visible after that turn this on by pressing d again and then take a pre multiply or pre mold here like this so that this use your uh, what you can say the clean plate and then select this connect with that and press one so let's check that your track will be working or not so now see its track is working but see this texture is still not visible the reason is you have to go to your mainframe double click on your roto paint node click and click to the end like this and after that go to lifetime single frame to all frames now you can do two things here you can disconnect this frame hold and connect direct to this and uh, and just remove this to single frame and after this you can add this frame hold so that also you can do this kind of thing so these are the two options now what happened when you're done with this you have to merge with two so pressing m now we, this is our textured area so you have to click here let's make it like a sorry let's take a backdrop and like this always make your note very clear and clean so let's change this color a little bit so that it will visible from any of angle any any angles and then name it like a paint texture okay so this is my textured area and after that this texture will be top of that input so a pipe should go this and b pipe should go that and now make this little more precise like this and after that press one so now what happened this is already applied now go to first frame you can see there are some distortion will be here now see these are the some distortion so how you can fix that is very easy just take a transform node under this corner pin data and after that turn on the set key from first frame and the last frame right click set key so in between it will automatically be adjust now go to the first frame and simply you have to change this positions like this okay so i have to change this position to as much as i can like this okay this is fine now this is my previous one this is my previous one which is a little bit shifted and this is my current one which is like that okay now when you're happy with that press play and you can see this already been cleaned up see so when you completely done the exact output will be look like this like this kind of thing okay which is looking really amazing the simple cleanup by using simple planet tracker node okay so guys i hope you really enjoyed this new fundamental episode number three and if yes then don't forget to subscribe my channel vfx world also you have to follow us on our social media handles like facebook instagram linkedin and twitter all links are in description box below so just go and follow guys what are you waiting for okay guys i'll see you in my next video with some cool interesting stuff still then have fun stay healthy keep rocking vfx world